Welcome to the demo video on VCF Edge showcasing some of the different deployment options for 5.2.1. VMware Cloud Foundation can be deployed in private cloud data centers and edge locations. We will showcase four different deployment scenarios. The first one is VCF Edge Hub and Spoke architecture, which lets you manage edge locations from a central data center. This approach provides enhanced visibility and control at sites where IT staff might not be present. It also simplifies management reduces operational costs and helps ensure a consistent security posture across multiple locations. For sites with limited connectivity such as defense use cases, the standalone edge architecture deploys the full VCF stack directly at the edge. The control plane is also deployed at the edge, making the solution ideal for sites with limited or unreliable connectivity. Highly secure air-gapped locations can benefit from a VCF offline deployment. All of the capabilities of VCF are available without internet access. Administrators have complete control over offline patching and upgrades. Scale Up and Scale Out Edge provides an option for deployments requiring additional resources such as warehouse sites and remote offices located away from the primary data centers. Heavier workloads such as data processing and AI can run at these remote locations to be self-sufficient, reduce data transfer and provide better response times. VCF Edge delivers scalable edge infrastructure to meet specific business needs regardless of size or location. Let's look at how customers can deploy a remote edge site from the central data center. We start with the assumption that the central DC is already set up and running the VCF management domain. We navigate to SDDC manager, workload domains and can see the management domain is already set up. For creating our remote site, we navigate to workload domain. VI workload domain and select vSAN as our storage option for the remote site. We provide the edge site name, organization name and join the same SSO as the management domain to view all site details from the main vCenter. We provide the cluster name and choose an image for preparing this host. This image ensures consistent edge site deployments at all remote sites. We provide the vCenter details, NSX details, and vSAN details. We select the host that will be part of the remote site. Choose the networking type. And complete the setup. We see that the edge site gets deployed and can be operated remotely from the central data center via the SDDC manager. The second scenario we will look at is a standalone edge or an air capped edge where all components run at the edge location. We deploy the management domain at the edge site and make use of resource pools for segregating management and edge site resources. The final scenario we will look at is scaling up and scaling out the remote edge location. We start with a central DC with management domain deployed and a remote edge site set up as well and we will walk through how a customer can add a host to the existing remote site and then showcase how a new cluster can be added to the remote site. We start by clicking on add hosts, select the host and add it to the existing cluster. We use the default switch configurations, wait for all the validations to pass and click on finish. We monitor the host edition status and can see the host is added successfully. This allows customers to quickly add capacity for burst situations like Black Friday sale in retail stores. Similarly, we showcase how easily customers can add a new cluster to their existing sites, whether it is for redundancy, load balancing or burst situations. We use vSAN HCI as our cluster storage type, select the host that we want in our cluster, set up the networking configuration and click on finish. Soon, we can see our additional edge cluster deployment gets completed. Thus, through this demo, we showcased how customers with different edge requirements can make use of VCF Edge to fulfill their business needs and ensure consistent and reliable operations.